Hello, I'm Jashikins, and welcome to a long overdue vlog review. This time of the new TV series, Almost Human. Now, I'm a big sci-fi person. That's my genre that I'm really, really into. So when I hear that, hey, there's this new sci-fi show involving a, a human teaming up with a robot, and it actually makes me think back to this this is a very obscure, and I can't recall the name of the TV show, I'm so fucking sorry, but it basically combines Blade Runner and Total Recall. And it's really just Blade Runner, and it really doesn't really follow the plots of either series. Very short-lived. I only got, like, the pilot from, a uh, five dollar pin at Walmart. So I heard Almost Human had the same basic premise, but of course a uh, buddy cop thing isn't really new, so that's probably just me. But then I was like, yay, it has Carl Urban, who I believe I first saw in Doom, which, you know, we won't cover the movie in this vlog, but I liked him, and I was like, he's cute, and he's like, he's a good actor, too. <laughs> I was like, yay, I'm going to get to see Carl Urban on my TV screen every fucking week. So I was like, yes! So, the first two episodes. The first one I caught on On Demand. I was sort of worried since Fox usually had puts new episodes on on demand like a week afterwards, so I was really, really fucking worried. But, and I watched the second one on a DVR date. And the basic premise is that Carl Urban's character, whose name is Detective John Kennex has been, you know, wounded and now he has a synthetic leg. He hates, you know, synthetics, which I guess is like a slur in the future. And he gets a... he kills his partner. It's, you know, a robot. That's sort of funny. And so he gets a robot that is... was sort of decommissioned. But, you know, they decide to give it to him because I guess that's the only one they have. And they start to solve cases together. This is the future where criminals have gotten more creative and the cops can really deal with it. So the pilot episode was mainly just getting the two together and starting to show the dynamics which were really good in of. And the second one episode was about the sex bots and there were some illegal going on since these people were abducting women and using real skin, human DNA to make realistic skin for you know, their sex bots so they would sell better. And my favorite line of the entire episode was, Did you scam my balls? Just that, like, entire scene was like, what the fuck? And it's, and I think that one little scene was really a highlight of Kenix and Dorian's you know, relationship there. Dorian is better equipped at telling human emotions than, you know, other robots. And so he's, he cares for Denik, Kenix, and 
is wanting to help. No, like by saying, hey, maybe if, you know, you had sex, you could feel better. But of course, he doesn't really get humans all the well as he should have. I mean, he's still really human-like, but at the other times, he's... So, <laughs> that entire conversation just... Dorian cares. Kenex seems to be... No, having, letting Dorian grow on him, since at the end of the last episode, Kenix, you know, said that Dorian could, you know, call him by his actual name instead of just Detective. So, what do I think of the series so far? So far, it is good. It has a very strong opening, which is very important. While I love the sci-fi genre, the truth of the matter is it's very hard for a sci-fi show to sort of get out because you're just creating this whole new world. But I think with the buddy cop aspect, which seems to sort of be popular, maybe, it's not really my genre, you know, I don't really look at it that much, so maybe I'm wrong. However, there's also Carl Urban's acting, and you know, he's a pretty good actor. <laughs> and so, it's maybe the buddy cop aspect and Carl Urban will be drawing people in. The effects are good for this TV show. Effects are good. Dorian and Kenix's partnership, which is really sort of central, because Buddy Pop, I guess, <laughs> is very well done. And there's points of mood where you're moved, and other points where you're just on the ground laughing your ass off. So I think I had to pause and maybe rewind a few times because I was just laughing too fucking hard to concentrate. And I'd also like to announce that this show has got me a little teary-eyed just in the first two episodes. I'm someone who it's very hard to make cry. I'm afraid this show is going to fucking do that shit. But, yeah. So for the first two episodes of Almost Human, the first episode, of course, just being Pilot, and the second one being Skin, very good. I, I would highly recommend checking this show out, and hopefully it will keep up the strong, strong streak. Anyways, I have been Jashikins, owner at Jashikins.dogs. I've been Jashikins, owner at Jashikins.blogspot.com. If you're viewing this on YouTube, subscribe, like, comment, yada yada yada. If you're viewing this on my blog, thank you for watching. Explore the blog. And hey! If you want to contact me outside of YouTube or my blog, feel free to. I'm over on Facebook at facebook.com slash Jashikins fan page. Also on Twitter at Jashikins and finally on Tumblr, Jashikins. So I'm sorry for the lack of vlogs. I've been keeping up with a lot of TV shows and also, I haven't been getting that many out lately, so I'm sorry. But, hope you're all having fun, having a great Tuesday, and until next video, goodbye.